Hi everyone, this is Aida Parvarish and it's my pleasure to share with you our recent research on metamaterial soft snake robot for the rectilinear locomotion. So let's start with why snakes. Snakes have inspired robotic researchers for a long time. Their slender body sections allows them to reach the confined spaces. Also, they are highly stable and exhibit high adaptability and versatility in different environments. Inspired by these incredible features, we want to create a bio-inspired snake robot, which is suitable for exploration, can be used in different applications, and also can reach confined spaces. To reach adaptability in different environments, snakes use a variety of gates. In all gates except the rectilinear gate, snakes use axial bending for generating the propulsive force. However, in the rectilinear locomotion gate, the contraction relaxation wave of the muscles which travels through the scales is responsible for generating the propulsive force. Let's take a deeper look at this video. As can be seen in this video, uh, snakes have anisotropic friction, which means that they can slide in the forward direction easily, but they grip to the ground in the backward directions. Overlapping scales help to achieve this property in macro scale. Also, snakes use body lifting to reduce their total amount of energy consumption. Uh, as can be seen, they have higher mobility in ventral side or the bottom side of their body compared to the dorsal or upper side of their body. The anatomical features of the rectilinear locomotion were first studied by Lisman and later by Newman. But according to these studies, body deformation and friction anisotropy play a vital role in generating the rectilinear locomotion. To achieve friction anisotropy, several researchers utilized active or passive wheels. More recently, a few works use uh, skin-like structures for generating the directional friction. However, none of the proposed snake-inspired robots closely mimic the biology of the snakes. Hence, we should first understand the anatomical elements of the biological snakes which contribute to rectilinear locomotion. These elements include the skeletal system, actuation muscles, and ventral skin. We want to reproduce these elements in a single unit of a modular robot with the use of metamaterial and appropriate actuation. In this regard, we used origami backbone for providing the body deformation. We used kirigami scales for generating the friction anisotropy. And also we used the tendon driven actuation system to mimic the muscles function. With our unique design, we also provide body lifting during the rectilinear locomotion. We considered functionalities such as structural support, integrity, deformability, as well as different stiffness in different sections for designing our backbone. Also for designing the Kriyami skin, we considered the protection and friction management of the skin. So with the implementation of the concept of origami patterns and kirigami overlapping scales, we have successfully achieved our desired functionalities. After designing, we laser cut the patterns and employed heat pressing and folding techniques to shape the final elements. With the unique design of the origami pattern, the interlocking mechanism was introduced to the backbone to limit the contraction amount. Then the 3D printed caps were attached to the backbone. The DC motors and pulleys were assembled and tendons were wound around the pulleys and routed along the body and tied to the end cap. Then we loosely connect the skin to the backbone to replicate the freedom of the ventral skin. And now our single module snake is ready. To evaluate the contraction behavior of the origami backbone and also to determine the required specifications for selecting the DC motors of the actuation system, we conducted the compression test. 
As can be seen in the generated force displacement diagram, there is a transition from the soft phase, which is dominated by the bending of the folds, to a stiff phase, which is dominated by the interlocking mechanism. By adjusting the geometrical parameters of the origami backbone, we can change the stiffness and also change the phase transition between these two regions. For characterizing the Kiyami skin, we examined the forward and backward frictional properties of the skin on three different surfaces, from rough to soft foam surfaces, and also in three contraction levels, from fully contracted to fully contraction levels. In all tests, the friction coefficient in backward direction was higher than the forward uh, direction, which implies the effectiveness of the overlapping scales in cre creating directional friction. This also aligns with the findings in biological snakes, where the friction in forward direction is approximately one fourth of the friction experienced in the backward direction. This trend is more pronounced in higher contractions and in rougher surface implying the enhanced anchoring capabilities of the scales in these conditions. The cyclic contraction and relaxation of the tendons allow for axial deformation when both tendons were shortened simultaneously with the same amount. Also, we can achieve extra feature of lateral bending with different lengths of the tendons, which helps us for steering in future applications. We tested the rectilinear locomotion of our snake robot on three different foam surfaces. As can be seen in the video, the snake robot can crawl effectively in all three surfaces. And as expected, the crawling distance and velocity in rough surface was higher, according to the better anchoring in these conditions. Also, as can be seen in the second column of diagrams, the contraction of the artificial muscles in ventral area is higher, which implies the effectiveness of our design. In this research, we created a building block for a modular soft snake robot inspired from the integration of body deformation with the surface interactions. In this module, we replicated the key behavioral features of the biological snakes. Our modular and scalable design allows for the integration of multiple modules in a unified structure to reach more complicated tasks. Our robot also shows potential application for exploratory missions and reaching confined spaces. Thanks for your attention. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.